ISI, I'm going to show you the quickest search ever on JSTOR just to give you some familiarity with using it. To log on to JSTOR, go to jstor.org and type in the password that you'll find on the password protected page on the library homepage of our database passwords. You'll know you're logged in when it says access provided by St. Ignatius College Prep across the top. I highly recommend you use advanced search. In advanced search, you'll plug in several terms. Some of you know that I am an absolute garden geek, so I'm going to think a little bit about, hmm, I'm going to think about the genus Vaccinium, which is a genus that blueberries are in, and alkaline, because blueberries don't like to grow in alkaline soil, they like very acidic soil. So I wonder what will happen if I search for this. I want to make sure it's content I can access. Articles will likely be most helpful for me. I can choose a date range. Um, perhaps the most recent publications are most helpful. So let's try publications from the last 10 years, from 2010 to the present. And then I can choose journal filters. These filters are, are related to the disciplines um, of, of study. For example, there are 94 different academic journals in the discipline of anthropology. Anthropology isn't going to help me much thinking about how blueberries grow in alkaline soil unless I were studying communities that, that used blueberries in alkaline soil, but I'm really I'm thinking about the plants themselves. So perhaps biology or botany, maybe ecology, garden and landscape, horticulture. Let's just try garden and landscape and horticulture. That's not that many titles, it's only 17 total, so maybe I need a little bit more. Let's try environmental science and environmental studies as well. See what happens with that. Click search. Here we go. I have four articles. Hmm. Do as a sustainable non-conventional water resource. I'm just curious out about that on my own. <laughs> when you find information here or articles that might be interesting to you, you can click on it. The article will come up, including information about the journal it came from. Here's the article. Um, it's uploaded as a PDF. You can scroll through them, through, through the articles. You can click cite this item, and there's the MLI citation right there. You can just click copy and paste it into your Works Cited page and keep track of all this information coming from Benoit Lafleur. It's pretty easy to search through JSTOR. Just remember that you may need a list of, of keywords, search terms, and you may need a variety of them as you're plugging through, you know, try plugging different ones in. You may want to limit your publication date, and you may want to limit your journals. Let me know if you have any questions while you're working on this, and if I can help you in any way, uh, search through JSTOR more effectively. You can even email Ms. Brancoli or myself with some research questions, information that you're looking for, and we can see if we can help you with that. All right, uh, uh, SI, um, we hope you're having a great digital learning day. Love the library.